Good afternoon, my name is Matthew from Axel and today I'm making a short video to show how to set up to use H.264 with an RDS session on a Windows 2016 server. Now what I plan to show is how the configuration is done. I won't be demonstrating any great performance as I only have today a very modest PC running Windows 10 on which I'm running Hyper-V and running Windows 2016 as a guest. So, so here we go. So the first thing to do is on the Hyper-V host, so in my case on my Windows 10 PC, we have to edit one of the group policies. So within the group policy editor, admin templates, Windows components, remote desktop services, remote desktop sessions host, remote session environment, and within here, configure H.264 AVC hardware encoding for remote desktop connections. And it does in fact tell us here, if you set encoding option to always attempt, remote desktop will always try to use H.264 AVC hardware encoding when available. Be aware that for Windows Server running Hyper-V with remote FX V GPU enabled, the policy has to be set on the Hyper-V host machine. So that's what I have done. On my Hyper-V, I have a machine, the server is called SysPrep, and in settings, I have a remote FX 3D video controller which I added through this mechanism. Uh, now it's not a proper graphics controller, it's just whatever came with the PC, so it's certainly not designed to run RDS in a server environment, but for the purpose of demonstrating how to configure, uh, it will serve a purpose. Okay, we're now booting the virtual machine, the Windows 2016 server. And within here, again, we run the group policy editor. And within admin templates, Windows components, remote desktop services, remote desktop session hosts, same place, remote session environment. Then with here, well this will depend somewhat on your system, which policies you enable here. I've zoomed in so you can see which policies I have enabled. Uh, depending on your server configuration and whether you have a graphics card that supports H.264 or whether you're letting the server do it in software will depend to a degree which of these policies you enable. Now before I go over to the terminal I'll just show one more thing that we can see on the server. So within Event Viewer, Application Service Logs, Microsoft, Windows, Remote Desktop Services RDP Core TS Operational. I'll just clear that. I'll now boot the terminal to establish a connection. So the thing to look for here is event ID 162. And it should say the client supports version blah 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 of the RDP graphics protocol client mode 2 ABC available 1 and you should see a 1 there. And that means that the server has recognized that the client supports H.264 but it doesn't determine whether it's using hardware or software compression. To establish that, if you look in event ID 170, ABC hardware encoder enabled 1, so this demonstrates that you are definitely using the ABC hardware controller, i.e. the graphics controller. If you don't have a graphics controller, then you'll be using the H.264 software decoder and obviously this won't show one here. So over at the terminal connected to the Windows 2016 server, by default 
it would be configured not to use H.264. And if I pull up a video, the performance is okay, but you can tell it's not quite hitting all the frames per second. And if we go full screen, then you can see we are definitely missing a few frames. And if you press Control Alt Shift I, the info window pops up. And here we can see we're using the default CA video codec, which is the Callister codec, which is the, the non H.264 default RDS codec. If we disconnect, go into setup, sessions, whichever session, down the bottom, performance, and down the bottom, enable H.264 codec, and reconnect. I've configured the terminal to automatically connect so I don't waste time typing in usernames and passwords. So now the performance is better, and if we go full screen, there is certainly a noticeable difference, but as I said at the beginning of the video, that I'm running this on a PC running Windows 2016 on Hyper-V, so this isn't going to be uh, as good as it gets. And the final point, if we press Control alt shift i now, we can see that we are using the ABC444 codec, which is the H.264 codec. So I hope you find that interesting. I appreciate that different systems will be configured differently, and if you haven't got a graphics controller, then the configuration will be somewhat different, but hopefully you can pick enough out of this video to set up your environment. If you have any questions, then please give me a call or send me an email. Thank you. Bye for now.